Hello, this is Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes, and I'm back with part three of my jewelry jar. Or, I guess I should really say that it's a jewelry vase. Now, I noticed that, um, looking in the top here, that some of the uh, hoop earrings that I couldn't match earlier um, look like their mates are in the jar. And also there's a Charm and Charlie piece on the card. So let's get going. Here are the, the hoop earrings that we've already found. So let's see what mates come out of the top of the jar. Um, whoa, there's a huge bangle that doesn't want to be released from the jar. And here come a bunch of the hoops. Let's see what we got. I think that'll be enough to get us started. Okay. So, here is a flat hoop. And here is its match that came uh, from part two of the jar. So there's one pair of earrings matched up. Um... Here is a hoop that is uh, goes from narrow to wide, and I don't have its match. But if I reach in the jar, I think I see it. Ugh. Don't mind me. Nope. That's not its match. Alrighty, so there's a, another hoop that doesn't match up with anything. But the one I thought was a match pulls out nicely and matches with this one. So there's uh, another pair of uh, hoop earrings. Oh, that's oh, that's too bad. So this is what this one should look like. I wonder if the pieces are in the jar. This one looks a little hmm. Those are kind of those are interesting look. So you wear the one way in there, all silver. The other way they're silver and black, but it's lost its black. Okay, well that's in the repair pile. And did we find any more? Oh, here's another... Oh! Here's another flat one. So we have three... Oh, no, we don't have three of these. This is a slightly different one. So it's flat like the other two, but it has this beautiful blue enamel on it. Okay, well... So, here I are. We managed to pair up two pieces. Maybe in the rest of the stuff I've pulled out, I think we'll find some more. Here's one that matches up. So these are a channel a hoop, very worn at the bottom, I guess, if, depending where they're rubbing. Look how gray that is compared to the rest of it. So that's a well-worn pair. Um, I suppose you could paint the bottoms of them to resurrect them. I'm not sure it's worth it, but that's a pair matched up. Do we have any more? Oh, here's the one I liked so much that I was... Here's the one with the texturing and the black uh, enamel. That's a nice pair. And they look to be in very good shape. No markings, not much wear. So very happy with that set pair. Okay, so four pairs matched up and three not yet. Oh, four not yet. All right, let's go to this Charm and Charlie piece that I saw. Um, kind of it's seed beads mini seed beads and it's attracted the attention of some Christmas stuff so we'll just try to get the Christmas stuff off there and oh this is interesting so Tom and Charlie new on the card was $13 it's called tropical escape coral Medi, M-E-D-I, whatever that means. Made in China. So we have these uh, two hoop uh, seed bead uh, coral colored earrings. Oh, maybe this must be coral Mediterranean. Medi. Um, and that's a very nice look. There's the Charmin Charlie logo. And uh, very nice. So there's the Charmin Charlie logo on this side and a very nice look coral with the gold at the base real summer set and uh, new with tag 
So, um, you know, $13, probably $13 US. I could see someone, you know, still being willing to pay $5 for this to wear in the summer. Just great fun. With a t-shirt, without, with uh, any outfit really. You know, a nice sundress. Okay. Now I saw this and I thought this was interesting in the jar. One of the reasons I liked it. I didn't see this particular piece. So I'm not sure what that piece really represents, if anything. It's a vaguely cross shape, textured, you know, heavy metal. These are nice, they're plastic, but they're nice beads. And then there's two more here, square ones, two more uh, tube ones here. And then these are all rings in between them. So if nothing else, you had a ton of, uh, of jump rings. I don't know if they're soldered. I don't see... Uh... Oh, there's the brakes. Okay, so they're not soldered, but there's a ton of jump rings, and it's probably on some kind of a cord. Let's see if we pull it at this end. Yeah, we can kind of see the cord. It's crimped at either end, lobster claw class. So probably a... Uh, you know, a fair trade uh, tourist uh, type of piece. I don't know where exactly it would have come from, but um, I don't know. I would call this more boho, but it's also more, you know, vacation touristy mode type. And it would be nicer, you know, be nice as a bracelet without the, the dangly. Now there's a way to repurpose that one. Kind of like that, I, rather than having it around my neck. A man could wear that easily, though. A man could wear that. This was, um, not the Jingle Bells, this firm sort of uh, patinaed copper angle was blocking the mouth of the jar. It's okay. Um, I don't know if I'd want to shine it up to wear it or not. Let's uh, see what happens. Oh yeah, you see how coppery it is? So it could be cleaned up. You can see the black that's coming off. But uh, I'll put it aside. It's, you know, maybe it's better to be repurposed, make it into a wreath for a dollhouse or a frame for something. Not really sure. And then this, is this a brick? Oh, this is a hair tie. I was say, is this a bracelet? Well, yeah, for me, it's a fine bracelet. But you know what, this is a ponytail tie. All right, any guess who's getting that one? There's one for my granddaughter to wear with her long hair. She's bemoaning the fact that now that it's not summer, her hair is getting to be darker brown rather than golden brown. And I said, well, you know what, that's one of those conundrums that we Ladies, deal with all our lives. What color should our hair be? What would we like it to be? I'm just going to get this untangled. So there's two hair Christmas hair ties so she can have pigtails. And I'll put that off to the side. And here is, oh, it's a Christmas dress. Stretchy bracelet. I don't have a lot of Christmas jewelry, though I do have a really nice snowflake slider bracelet that I got out of jewelry jar. This is nice in that it's jingle bells, makes noise, got, it's got uh, red and green bells, it's got snowflakes, it's got pearls of different sizes. So, and we're back. My camera ran, ran out of storage. For some reason it was putting the videos in the spot that didn't have much space. But anyway, So there's two of these um, hair ties, jingle bells, and there's this lovely um, Christmas bracelet with red and green bells, silver um, snowflakes, and two different sizes of white pearls with the chain in between. So nice stretch, very wearable for Christmas. So there's the Christmas portion of this uh, for this video. Costurero sewing kit. I wonder where this is from. Looks like Italian. Suchel Camacho. Oh, maybe not. South America? 
I don't know what language it is. But hey, little sewing kit also always comes in useful. Not jewelry, but hey, useful. More useful than all those keys. And here we go, another one. This one looks like a, a swan or a harp. I really don't know. There are, and oh, another piece from Florida. This can go with the uh, the mood ring from the first time. Well, this is nice articulated spinner uh, keychain, an anchor with the word Florida, and then the state of Florida uh, on the little spinner. Excellent condition. Looks like pewter. I don't see any markings. So that's uh, can go into the tourist stuff. Here's another adjustable bracelet, probably a tourist piece uh, with the macrame slider and little shells, pretty, you know, white shells with the light blue cord, very beachy. Um, oh, well here, this fell out, we'll go with it next. There's a blingy rhinestone brooch. Let's see if we can focus it better. Um, it looks so shiny in the picture, it's hard to tell if it's missing anything. That, let me just, uh, oh yeah, I was right. So right down there we're missing some rhinestones. Um, looks like a new piece, like, you know, in the last 20 years, not, not a vintage piece from the 50s or 60s or 70s. I don't see any marking. Let me just look, put my eyes a little closer. Sorry to go away for a second. So I don't see any other missing rhinestones, so that would be easily repaired. And uh, that would be great to repurpose in one of those um, bridal bouquets of, uh, of uh, rhinestone brooches and things. Put that off to the be repaired side of the table. And see... Uh, a kind of a little bit of verdigris on this uh, well-worn hoop earring. I'm gonna put it away from everything else. I don't see its mate. Um, here's a wire necklace, and they, uh, as we know, they tend to get tangled with everything in the and their brother. So we'll just. Move it apart. Now this has got an interesting ceramic bead on the bottom, and some. Uh, I don't know if those are glass or plastic. Actually, they're white. They're probably they're ceramic. They're white inside, and some. You know, aurora borealis coated, inexpensive beads. So two things of wire, which doesn't get tangled up as easily but um, not my favorite configuration for beads but that would certainly be a nice bead um, to repurpose this looks awfully dark so I can't tell if that's silver and tarnished it certainly looks like tarnish Sometimes these are not marked in there. Interesting. No idea. Where's my handy dandy polisher? Let's see what happens when we try to. Uh, how much of this comes off? If any. Oh, well, it is getting pretty shiny there. It's hard to get a flat surface to under the camera. Yeah, that's coming off slowly. Oh, we'll see. I have to check that out. Maybe it is a silver clasp, even if it isn't marked. I'm, I, uh, there's so many things going on in this jewelry jar. I wouldn't be surprised. Here's another cross. Let's focus again on a, you know, a faux 
leather chain, no marking, new. Uh, probably repurpose that on something else. This is, what is this? Okay, so this is a broken necklace. How did that get stuck in there? Oh. Oh, well, all right. Here's uh, the clasp. We can separate those things. Just I just lost something important on the floor. So oh, this is seed beads that uh, very luckily haven't started unraveling all over the place with some lots of wooden beads, um, some plastic spacers, more wooden beads, seed beads. And at some point there is the clasp. One, two, I guess it was three, meant to be three strands, and one, two, three are meant to be together on this side. Uh, it's like a well-worn lobster claw clasp. Uh, that would have to be restrung on, so from both sides to be repaired. Um, certainly not worth my time to do it. So, but and for wooden beads, I might put this in the kids' craft pile so that they can take it apart, or I might take it apart so they don't end up with little black seed beads all over the house, and then. Uh, they can do something with the uh, with the wooden beads. I had another pile for repair stuff. Where did I put it? Over oh, maybe over there. Okay. Wow. Um, oh, a lovely, pretty earring. I don't see the a match. Look at those pretty. Those are feel like glass beads and a sort of a plastic silver look bead. There's something. Oh, okay. There it goes. Just on a, a fish hook wire. They're pretty. It's kind of bent, not straight, as you can see. So I'm not sure how to. But a pair of those would be nice, or the beads could be repurposed pretty easily. And there are lots of single earrings in here. Oh, here's another earring. This looks um, home crafted, I guess. So some heavy aluminum wire. Um, some faux pearls, I would say, and then some light blue wire twisting them together. The pearls don't feel gritty at all. If they were real pearls, I'd get rid of that inexpensive wire and repurpose them as something. Any case, anyway, one of those. Another hoop. Textured gold, but not like the other texture gold tone we had and I only see one. This is the jar of single hoops. This isn't an earring. Okay, let me... Okay, this is straight. All right, all right. let's get it untangled. So what's the difference between untangle and detangle? Or is one just not a word? I'm the English major and should know these things, but I kind of... Oh dear, what have we got? We got everybody and their brother vying for the limelight. Okay, so this is a snake chain. I'm gonna just uh, unhook it. There we go. Pull it out if it's gonna cooperate. Oh, 
Well, maybe it's not. Maybe there's... Uh, it's a double chain. Okay. And that's why we're not making the progress. All right, let's try. Oh, maybe this is part of it too. Oh, that's why. We got two dangles, uh, two pendants on a double chain. And then we have all these lovely silver balls. And this is broken. So let's try to get the broken thing out of here. It's not going to take that long since there's one end free and I could see uh, oh I found something something came free yay all right well we're almost there sometimes that it all you know you know how they say it all comes out of the wash it all shakes out of the jewelry and this one's not exactly doing that, but I think I see a way. I think I see a way through the tangle. If we get that in there, and then we get it back through there. <gasps> Alrighty, so this is broken. These are nice metal balls. I could see repurposing this. Okay, this will go in the Christmas repurpose lot for Christmas decorations or something. No, they're nice beads. They're nice metal beads and they're not all beat up and worn out. But there's no way I'm going to fix a chain like that that's separated from an end unless there's a unless there's some kind of a ring there that I can put something through. Yeah, I can see it's broken. So, another repair piece and this one that was <laughs> Oh, this came out of the wall in the in the the dumping. Oh, this is kind of nice. I mean, it's new. Uh, spring ring? No, a ring. What kind of a clasp? Lobster claw clasp. But that's pretty. Look at the faceted uh, stones. They're quite high domes, so quite high profile. Um, very very autumn colors. Very nice. Oh, I like that. Very wearable bracelet. And I'm still trying to find this uh, multi-dangle necklace because I think it's going to be a nice necklace if I can just figure out how it works. I'm having to look around the camera to find it because <laughs> it's very long. All righty. How many tangles can one ne necklace have? Well, as many as, let's get how much wood could a woodchuck chuck? As much wood as a wood could chuck could chuck. So, this necklace. Oh. <laughs> I think. There. One dangle. Free floating. Sort of, mostly. Okay, please bear with me, because I think this necklace is worth it. It's a nice idea, anyway. There we go. There are the two dangles. Silver side, one side. One is red. Oh, they're both red on the other side. So there's a, there's the right side. And that's how they're supposed to hang. So a very nice design. Classic. Like you could wear that with a sweater. You could wear that. It's kind of long with a dress. Just a lobster claw clasp. And I don't see any markings or any little tag anywhere. It's nicely made. It feels, it's very nice and smooth. Chain like this chain's not going to get caught in your hair, which is a problem for some people. Um, it's one is so here if I lay it out on the table you'll see that one is very much shorter than the other. 
and then here's the end of the chain. So uh, one hangs very short and one hangs quite long. I don't know if I could wear this. It might hang way too long. This might be in the right spot, but this might be at my belly button. I don't really want people looking at my belly button. Well, not like they would be visible, but you know what I mean. That's don't need them looking in the nether regions. Okay, so very wearable piece, like, and modern, very modern, but wearable, like, you know, current wearable. Alrighty, I'm kind of jabbering, aren't I? This, I was trying to talk less, is a letter J. It looks like a seal, but Oh, I guess because the J is right. J is right, but it's going to be the wrong way around. I think. Um, that, <laughs> obviously not an ancient piece, and there's a little, just a little tangle. I'm trying to see if there's any kind of a clasp. Oh, there is. No markings. I know a J, but. If you actually use it as a seal, the J would be the wrong way around. So, um, someone got the logic of that wrong. But I guess if you're just going to look at the J, that doesn't matter. This was part of the tangle, and you can see why. Um, fabric and, and chains don't do well together generally, or don't play well together. But this is very pretty, the metal parts are, and I would just take the, the ribbons off and um, turn this into a lovely necklace without the ribbons. I mean, it's, it's inexpensive, you know, relatively speaking, and made even more inexpensive by the use of ribbons, which get all, oh, dirty and ragged on the edges and stuff. But this is a very pretty pendant with the uh, purple dangles. They're just plastic and the, the uh, enameling. It's an excellent shape. I don't know if any rhinestones. I don't see any rhinestones missing there or they don't seem to be. And the other two dangles are in great shape. And they have their own enameling. So uh, there, there's a piece to um, you know upgrade a little. Or perhaps somebody would like it just the way it is. All the modern stuff's in the middle of the jar here. This is kind of cool. And another, what I would call a statement necklace. And how does this work? There. There, 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 there. Okay, this one's... There we go. Okay. So, modern necklace, silver and gold tone rings together. Lobster claw clasp, a little ball dangle. Um, lobster claws working. So a short necklace. Let's lay it out. And, oh, probably probably 18 inches, but I think it's more like meant to be 16. A very you know, not a ch exactly a choker, but close to it. And it would be you know with a lower neck line. That would be quite a nice statement piece. Excellent condition. Looks like it's never really been worn. Alright, another handful from the jar and I might get some uh, matches for some earrings if I'm lucky. Alrighty. Oh, here's an earring. Just kind of fell out. It says KC on the inside. I don't know. Does Kenneth Cole make earrings, or did Kenneth Cole make earrings like this? There's one, anyway. No match that I can see. Oh, here's an earring that goes with that necklace that we just looked at. The one with the with all the ribbon. So there's a matching earring. So we'll put those together in case we happen in all, along uh, upon another one. Here's. Another key for that set of keys that are so intriguing. Here is 
Well, let me move these out of the way a little bit. Oh, we saw that earring already. What is this? So, this is a brooch. Kind of looks like a fish if you look at it from the back, but goes this way. Isn't he cute? Talk about a cute clown. Nice sort of mother of pearl nose. He's not, you know, overly bright. The the silver tone, the little bit of gold tone wash, and the the yellow accents, the yellow enamel, black eyes, make him not such a scary clown. I think if he'd had red on it, he'd be a lot scarier looking. Though he doesn't look very happy, but he's cute. If you collect clown pins, let me know. Hmm. Okay, it's a a nut of some sort. If you have a screw loose, I've got the nut to go with it. Ha huh, ha. Huh. Okay, she's getting tired. She's making really bad jokes. Bunch of bangles. Um, let's see. These two kind of match. Very lightweight. Sort of aluminum. These two. No, they don't match, but they're darker colored textured bangles. This one's a little bit wider. This is sort of the antique brass color. I don't see any name. I like this one best of all of that group of bangles. My first bunch of bangles. Here's a uh, pins to win. Ford pins to win and it's a pink hockey stick. All net proceeds from pin sales will support the Canadian Breast Cancer Foundation and participating Ontario minor hockey team. So that's interesting. Register your pin to win. Exciting prizes. I don't wonder if this contest is still on. Or maybe it's, you know, been gone over for so long that nobody and nobody won, so they just got rid of their pin. Okay, here comes a uh, Long, uh, a long necklace. Oh, here's one of these uh, hoop earrings that I was hoping to find a match for. The one that goes from thick to thin. Again, um, not marked. They might clean up nicely. Not really sure what to do with a lot of these hoop earrings, even if we do have the pair. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's, uh, oh, this is a necklace. I think it's supposed to be two strands. Yep, there's the where the two strands meet. Excuse me. <coughs> okay, I had it the wrong way. It's three strands. So the top of the necklace is here with a big lobster claw clasp. It looks like there was something hanging from there. There might have been an identifying dangle or something. So single chain. <coughs> Sorry about that. I had to clear my throat. Um, so nice lobster claw clasp, large single chain that goes down to these uh, ovals. And then from the ovals there are three strands graduated strands hanging, uh, two plain and one with uh, oval and textured lightweight, I would say plastic beads, but this is an excellent shape. Again, a modern necklace, let's see, gotta be probably 36 inches. Oh wait, yeah, no, no, 24 with the Sorry, I'm thinking the wrong way. So, 9 and 9 are 18, and it goes a little past that with the third, um, this part here. So, a nice length, very wearable. Um, you could wear it for dress up, you could wear it for casual, you could wear it to the office. This is a, a very wearable piece, and I'm not sure why it ended up in a jewelry jar, except maybe they just had so much jewelry they didn't know what to do with it. And, whoa, it's an earring. Nice modern earring, tassel, not marked. There's only one of them. Let's see if I can find the other one in the jar. Okay. 
No, I can't. But I think we're going to take... Oh, found this one. I found the match for this. So there's a pair that I'm going to tuck out the, uh, the pearls on. One of these. And we'll take this as the last piece there's a couple pieces we'll just look at this one at last because this is actually kind of nice I'm trying to see if it's it's got a ring there whoa oh it's a bracelet this is not a necklace I'm gonna say this is kind of nice but I'm, I'm pulling out the ring going where's the this is a bracelet and it's glass beads and it's sort of symmetrical um, yeah, well, that's very nice. And then uh, just closes simply like that. And uh, lots of movement, color. This is looks like an agate. Another agate. Some faux pearls. Some glass beads. Or these could just be glass. They do kind of look like agate. <coughs> so that's very nice. Well, we'll stop here. That's part three of the jewelry jar vase uh, from the Salvation Army and we'll be back with part four.